In this video, we will be understanding about the sandbox environment. If you have previously used the hands-on labs, you might know that this is a guided lab where you can perform all the steps. The steps are provided to you. The screenshots are provided along with the code and the CLI commands. And if you have used the hands-on challenges and project labs, check out the other video. If you want to know the difference between lab challenges and project labs, check out the other video provided in the description. Let's understand sandbox environment. And first, we will compare the features of hands-on labs and sandbox environment. But even before that, let's see how sandbox environment looks like. So to access the sandbox environment, just log into your WizLabs account, go to dashboard. And here on the top, you will see an option called sandbox. Click here, click on get started. And here now you have an option to pick one of the sandbox that are available to you. So you can go ahead with AWS sandbox, but let's understand uh, why do we need sandbox first? So here it comes with zero environment setup. Okay, WizLabs provide you the playground to have instant access to cloud environment without entering your credit card detail with AWS. Test your ideas and innovations. Now, sandbox environment uh, is something where you get the environment or the account for number of hours. So you can perform multiple things. You can do the POCs. You can uh, complete a small project that is provided to you. Uh, and if you are a student, uh, maybe you can you know use it for your uh, class sessions. And again, it is a secure environment. Uh, no cost is present. Okay. And some of the extra things that we will see uh, is present as part of the FAQs. So here, if you see what is the use of sandbox environment, it is an isolated contained environment that will help you and your team to securely evaluate, explore, and build application that you are allowed. You can use these environments to test your skills, try out ideas, and see the outcome. Okay. One of the disclaimer provided here is this product should only be used for the educational purpose. So how do you get access to sandbox environment? You can go ahead on the subscription plan and choose the one which is like premium plus uh, in your case. So is there limitation present? Yes, there are limitations. Uh, you cannot use to do the things like Bitcoin mining or perform the DDoS attack on the instances. Okay. You don't need to share any of any of your personal data uh, to access the sandbox. So let's uh, begin with AWS sandbox. And here you can click on the start sandbox. And as you see here, uh, the button is active for me. And it is asking me to choose the number of hours for which I want the sandbox environment to be active. I can choose this and click on create sandbox environment. Let's understand the scope. So here uh, you have n number of AWS services uh, and let's start with EC2. So inside EC2, uh, you are allowed to launch and terminate EC2 instances. Uh, you can use three AMIs. You can use two instance type. The maximum EC2 allowed size for you is 30 GB. You are allowed to have EC2 volumes of two types and in two regions okay similarly for elb you can create application load balancer and network load balancer and you are allowed to perform this in northern virginia region uh, for iam or ec2 also scaling iam lambda lambda ec2 auto scaling s3 elastic file system glacier you have plenty of aws services uh, that is provided to you so let's see some more things. How do I launch the sandbox environment? So again, you can just go pick your sandbox, click on create sandbox environment with the time that you have selected and you will get the option uh, very much similar to how the options are present in your guided labs uh, to access the AWS account. Just copy the IAM username and password. Uh, don't remove the account ID. And you will be getting both the access to console and the CLI. Now here, so how many sandbox you can run at a time? Only one. How do I get the access? You need to be a subscribed to monthly plus or yearly plus subscription. So what happens to data uh, for the duration that you select? After that, your data expires. And what do you mean by abuse? 
you should not use for the bitcoin mining or your uh, any other than educational work so let's start with one hour and click on create sandbox environment just confirm the acknowledge the terms and usage and click on create sandbox so it will take around uh, 30 seconds because there is some things happening in the back end for you to make sure that you are getting a fresh account where the resources are completely deleted and as we see here it is ready now so to access that just simply click on open console and once you have clicked on the open console copy the username and the password and click on sign in so now you have the aws account ready and you can perform any of the tasks any of your learning projects and complete the work to end the sandbox environment you can simply come back and click on destroy sandbox environment always remember that after the time has been completed the environment will automatically get destroyed okay so to avoid that you can ask for a 15 minute grace period simply click here and just wait for some more second and here you see the grace period of 15 minutes has been added for you so you make sure uh, to use this now here uh, to destroy the sandbox environment click on the destroy sandbox environment and on the confirmation acknowledge this check and click on destroy like just type destroy and click on destroy sandbox environment it will take some time you make sure to wait here so that the account is ready for the next user to perform you can check out the other sandbox that are present with us it is like let me just go back okay so you can click on cloud sandbox and yeah there you go you have gcp sandbox azure sandbox power bi sandbox code sandbox and jupyter sandbox so you can perform pretty much all the things on the cloud without worrying about the setup and now you have the option to evaluate this for the number of hours thank you